जय श्री कृष्ण वेलकम टू हिंदू मीडिया विकी पॉडकास्ट टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग अ न्यू सीरीज ऑफ एटीन वीडियोज ऑन इंट्रोडक्शन टू एटीन पुराणस पुराण इज अ वास्ट जॉनर ऑफ इंडियन लिटरेचर ऑन अ वाइड रेंज ऑफ टॉपिक्स पर्टिकुलरली द लेजेंड्स एंड ट्रेडिशनल लॉर द पुराणस आर नोन फॉर इंट्रिकेट लेयर्स ऑफ सिम्बलिज्म डिपिक्टेड इन स्टोरीज composed primarily in sanskrit and tamil but also in other indian languages several of these texts are named after major hindu deities such as vishnu shiva brahma and shakti puranas are considered as smritis to learn more on classification of hindu scriptures on smritis and shrutis please check our video given in the description box The entire corpus of 18 Puranas is approximately 4 lakh shlokas. It requires lots of time to read them all, but we would like you to read them one by one and to motivate you for it, we are going to give you a brief introduction one by one in this series. Shrimad Bhagavat Puran lists the sequential order of Puranas. The order of appearance of different Puranas is also given in the Matsya Puran chapter 53 as narrated by Sutta. The list of 18 Puranas are given on the screen. Please note that each video of the entire series will have 6 sections: introduction and naming, narration style and content, topics in that Puran, one favorite story, a famous quote, how and where to read so let's start this new journey today we will start with brahma puran brahma puran introduction and naming brahma puran is the first of the series of hindu texts known collectively as the puranas brahma puran is named for the creator god brahma but he is barely mentioned some sources though believe he is one of the narrators of the text brahma puran is also sometimes referred to as adi puran or first puran and as saur puran because a portion of it focuses on surya the sun deity the complete list of puranas and why they are named so is given in shiv puran uma samhita chapter 44 nandikeshwar said O Tandi Brahma the four-faced deity is the main speaker hence O sage the first puran is called Brahma the Brahma puran as it reads today is not believed to be the same as the original ancient text it is thought to have undergone major revisions sometime between the 13th and 16th centuries and other revisions since The modern text exists in many different versions and contains substantial differences. Narration style and content. Brahma Puran is composed of two sections, the Purva Bhag and the Uttar Bhag, and two 45 chapters. The content ranges from mythology to geography, descriptions of temples and cultural topics such as temple artwork. In Brahma Puran the contents are in the form of teachings by Lord Brahma to Daksha the narrations regarding the birth of Manu and his descendants are the other main topics there are references on Lord Shiva and Lord Vishnu with their favorite incantations out of 245 chapters 18 chapters of the Brahma Puran cover the cosmology, mythology, genealogy, manvantar, cosmic time cycles and topics that make a text the Puranic genre of literature. Other chapters cover samskara, rite of passage, summary of dharma shastra, its theories on the geography of earth, summary of samkhya and yoga theories of Hindu philosophy and other topics. Many chapters of the Brahma Puran praise temples and pilgrimages. In short, this Puran praises Lord Shiva and Lord Vishnu equally, but hardly mentions the deity Brahma, despite the title. And all stories prescribe righteousness, following the path of dharma, and praying selflessly to gods. Topics in Brahma Puran. There are many important stories included in Brahma Puran. 
The list of stories is as follows. Story of Prithu, Kubalashv, Trishanku, Sagar, Yayati, Indradyumna and Purushottam Kshetra, Markandeya, King Shweta, Bali, Gautam, the doves of Kapota Tirtha, Garur and Manenga, Vishwamitra and Indra, a Brahma named Shweta, Kubir, King Harish Chandra, Rishi Vridha Gautam, the Pipalad, Nageshwar, the story on Brahma's head, Gautam and Mani Kundal, and Sage Kandu. Brahma Puran talks on the following concepts in detail. The process of creation by Brahma, Daksha's offspring, Manvantaras, the sun and the solar dynasty, the moon and the lunar dynasty, Vaishwasvata Manu's children, geography, Konarak, Varnashrama, the Chandal and the Brahma Rakshasa, Yoga. Our favorite story. Now we will recite a favorite story from Brahma Puran to motivate you to read the whole Puran. The story of Indradyumna and Purushottam Kshetra. Purushottam Kshetra is the present day Puri. In the Satyog, there lived a powerful and righteous king named Indradyumna. Indradyumna was a great devotee of Vishnu, and he decided to go to a Tirtha to pray to Vishnu. When he saw all the Tirthas, he did not think that any one of them was appropriate for worshipping Vishnu. Indradyumna's capital was Avanti, and though Avanti had many beautiful temples, Indradyumna wasn't satisfied and wanted to build a new temple. He left Avanti with his soldiers to find a place where he could start building a temple. After travelling for many days, they arrived on the shores of a southern ocean named Lavan Samudra. The shores of the ocean were very beautiful and so was a place near it called Purushottam Kshetra. This place is modern Depuri. This place was a very important Tirtha, but its knowledge had been hidden. The story says that there used to be an image of Vishnu, which if worshipped, prevented a sinner from going to hell. Everyone started visiting this image, and so no one went to hell. In despair, Yama went to Vishnu and asked him to do something, as there was no one he could punish. Vishnu hid the murti in the sands, and so no one knew it existed. Indradyumna was very happy with the place and knew that near Purushottam Kshetra was a place where many religious people lived. He therefore decided to build a temple here. With the help of other kings, a sacrifice was held and they started building the temple. Once the temple was built, the problem was how to make the main idol. One day, when Indrayumna was asleep, he had a dream where Vishnu told him to cut the wood of a tree that was growing on the shores of the ocean. When Indrayumna was about to chop the tree, two brahmanas appeared and reprimanded him for trying to do so. But when they heard Indrayumna's dream, they agreed. These two brahmanas were Vishnu and Vishwakarma in disguise. Vishnu suggested that Vishwakarma make the idols. Vishwakarma did this in a matter of minutes, and there were three idols in front of Indrayumna. One was of Balrama, the other of Krishna, and the last of Subhadra. All the idols were beautiful and elegant with clothes, and the architecture was fine. When Indrayumna saw this, he realized that they had to be gods. Vishnu and Vishwakarma revealed themselves to Indrayumna and told him that he would rule for 10,900 years. They also promised him a special seat in heaven. On an auspicious day, the idols were installed in the temple. Quotes There are many simple and powerful quotes in the Brahma Puran. One important verse is in the epilogue of Brahma Puran, which says why someone should read Brahma Puran. A Brahman who listens to a recital of the Brahma Puran becomes learned. A Kshatriya becomes victorious. A Vaishya becomes rich and a Shudra achieves happiness. 
one who listens to the recital faithfully attains all his wishes. The fruits of listening to such a recital are superior to visiting the most holy of tirthas or performing the most difficult of yagyas. How to read Brahma Puran? We hope you like this introduction on Brahma Puran. As you know, the Hindu Media Wiki is a link aggregation and question answer forum on Hinduism. We have Brahma Puran category on our website, the link of which is given in the description. You can read the e-copy of Brahma Puran from various translations given in this link. You can also ask questions related to the Brahma Puran by tagging it in your posts. Also, if you are on Twitter, you can follow us on Hindu Media Wiki handle. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Stay tuned for the next video on the introduction to Purana series every fourth day. Thank you for listening. Jai Shri Krishna.